Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, just wanted to do a quick demonstration uh, just to show the capabilities of talking between P25 and Tetra. We'll do the demonstration first and then I'll explain exactly what's going on here. So I've got a uh, Motorola XTS 5000 here. Um, it's currently set up to talk to a P25 repeater in the CBD here in uh, Sydney. And I've got an MTH800 handset here that's currently set on DMO. Uh, it's currently on 439125. So I'm going to key up on the P25 handset and talk into it into the mic, and you'll hear the audio come out the uh, MTH800. All right, let's give it a go. Uh, VK2 CJC testing audio 123321. 1212. There you go. All right, so how is this working? Well, there's a couple of different pieces to this. Now, if you've already seen my video explaining uh, Tetra to Zello, it's kind of along those lines. If you haven't seen that video, feel free to jump across and watch that. But essentially, um, we've got an MTM800E uh, uh, sat here. This is a, a Tetra mobile radio. Um, it's currently cabled in via this Ethernet cable to this signal link box here. Uh, Tigertronics uh, make this box. It essentially uh, allows um, a computer to um, send and receive audio to the radio as well as push to talk as well. Uh, the audio comes out of the signal link into the computer and I've currently uh, got a piece of software on here called DudeStar. Um, now this is connected to my test P25 talk group, 10444. If I key up on the P25 radio, you'll see um, you'll see that black line there light up saying that it's receiving audio. Audio test, one, two, three. One, two, three. There you go. Then what DudeStar is doing is it's sending it audio, uh, its audio out um, back via the signal link to the uh, Tetra radio here. The Tetra radio is keying up and is broadcasting uh, that transmission on uh, 439125 in Tetra. And my Tetra MTH800 is receiving it. Uh, now, if you were uh, in Sydney uh, right now and had a Tetra terminal tuned to 439125, you would also hear that transmission as well. Now. Does it work in the opposite direction as well? It does, but with one caveat currently that I'm currently working through. So if I want to talk Tetra to uh, to uh, P25, I can do that, but I can't just key up on here and talk. I've also got to hold down the TX button on the software here and then talk into here. So that's the current challenge that I'm working through right now, but at least you can talk between P25 and Tetra, no problems at all. Just do another demonstration for you. Test one, two, three, three, two, one. There you go. All right. Thanks for watching. If anyone has any questions, feel free to uh, leave a comment in the uh, comment section below. Until next time. Thanks, guys.